This week on the Marching Drill Down. We have some news about the Collegiate Marching Band Festival in Allentown, Pennsylvania. And I'll tell you all about Phantom Regiment show from 2003 that they revisited for the 2021 season. All that and more now on the Marching Drill Down. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm your host, Nikki Brose. I'm originally from Rockford, Illinois, the hometown of what corps? The Phantom Regiment. I was born and raised in the Phantom Regiment Drum and Bugle Corps, and I marched in the Phantom Regiment Cadets from 1993 to 1997, and in the Phantom Regiment from 1998 to 2004. After marching drum corps for so long, I kind of ran away for a little while, and I now reside in Southern California with my husband, two kids, and four dogs. And in the drum corps world, I do Nikki's Lost DCI years on YouTube, and I do old school videos and stories on Instagram. The DCI tour has come to an end this last week, and it sure was a memorable one. While the tour was shortened due to the ongoing pandemic, corps from across the country still had a chance to perform for fans. While some corps opted to not participate in the celebration this year, a good chunk of corps still performed. While there was no competition this year, fans still had a chance to decide which was their favorite show from 2021. In the end, Phantom Regiment's rewrite of their famous 2003 show, Harmonic Journey, won Fan Favorite Award. Vivace Productions just announced the 25th Annual Collegiate Marching Band Festival. Let's send it over to Zoe Cohen for more information. Hello everyone, Zoe is currently working hard with the Minuteman Marching Band during their band camp. My name is Matthew Zumba and I will be talking to you about the 25th Annual Collegiate Marching Band Festival. Hosted by Vivace Productions, the festival brings college marching bands to the historic J. Bernie Crum Stadium to perform for fans of all ages. This year, the festival will be held on October 3rd. Some bands that will be featured include Chippensburg University, Boston College, University of Delaware, Westchester University, Morgan State University, and Widener University. Tickets are $20 for adults and $15 for students in kindergarten through 12th grade. Now, back to you, Nikki. During the tw DCI 2021 season, we followed Luke Gunthry, mellophone player for Pacific Crest Drum and Bugle Corps, on his travels this summer. Let's take a sneak peek of this new series coming to Style Plus T. Hey there everyone, this is Luke from Cross Country Marching. I'm happy to say that I'm back in Maryland, safe and sound, after the exhilarating experience that was Pacific Crest. I had a great time this summer, and I have the memories, the footage, and the weird tan lines to prove it. And now I'm looking back in all those memories and the comfort of air conditioning and being able to lay in bed for more than an hour at a time. And it's really getting me excited to share this experience with you. At this point, I've released two videos. I've released a video of me packing, showing everything that I'm gonna be taking. And I've also released the first leg of my journey, which is basically through the Appalachian Mountains. Here's a couple clips from that. Slim Jims, Nutty Buddies, Pop-Tarts, Swedish Fish, Bubble Gum, Old Bay, Toothpaste. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, so you're like old school drum. <laughs> That's awesome. Remember to check out my channel at Guthrie Drum Corps in order to watch the full videos. And next time you'll be seeing footage from my Chicago Free Day. That's all for me. Until next time. Peace. Marching Drill Down correspondent Grantis Fernanda recently reviewed Style Plus's Grip Factor gloves for Scholastic and World Color Guards. Let's take a sneak peek of what he had to say about the gloves. Grantis? If you're looking for a guard glove and want to try something new, then check out the Grip Factor from Style Plus. So we have these gloves. They look like standard Color Guard gloves. So the first thing I notice is that they're pretty light. For our final story, we are going to talk about Phantom Regiment's production of Harmonic Journey. 
to be part of the original production of this is a feeling like no other in this world. Now, I don't think one of us marching that summer knew that this show was going to have the impact on the drum corps community that it has today. For them to redo that show because it was so popular is a feeling like no other. We were just there to have a good time that summer. We had a good vet base going on from 2001, 2002 in the horn line and drum line, or I'm sorry, in the horn line and color guard. And then we had a whole new drum line and drum staff come and the three sections just fit together. And while our harmonic journey was a little bit darker version, I think it's like night and day. We were the dark, you know, with the dark color guard uniforms. We had the dark flag colors. And this year, the 2021 version is like the light, the pop of color, the uh, pinks, the fuchsias, the blues, the purple in the Lord's Prayer flag, the pink and orange flags. They were just beautiful. Everything about it was beautiful. The the props that they used was a whole different theme of what we even considered. But at the same time, they still stayed true to Phantom and doing little, you know, nods to the 2003 show. They had like the little rifle pod, which was also reminiscent of the saber pod in the closer. They had the wedge. They had the turn. They had the famous, what people call the little jump step, which is actually called a pot of shah. They had that in there. They had the color guard running their butts off in the end. And they also had my infamous ending drop flums, flips, them damn thumb flips. Am I crying? And they redid it in 2021. And it couldn't have made me a happier alumni of the Phantom Regiment. So on that note, that's it for today's broadcast. I've been your host, Nikki Brose. Be sure to check out this week's episode and more at Style Plus TV. We will be back next week for more exciting news. Until then, have a great weekend.